working wonders because of the holiness of his wonders we know every word of god will be fulfilled and in your life there'll be no disappointment in my life there'll be no disappointment mark chapter 11 i'm reading from verse 12 Mark chapter 11, reading from verse 12. And on the morrow, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry. And seeing a fig tree afar off, having leaves, he came, if haply, he might find anything thereon. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves. For the time of figs was not yet. And Jesus answered and said unto it, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. And his disciples heard it. Now in verse 20, And in the morning, the following morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up, tell me, dried up, say it, dried up, let me hear you, from the roots. He had said it, and once we speak the word in prayer, and we stand on the promises of God, look away from it, the following day, when you see that tree of a problem, from the root, it will have dried up. Your mountain from the root will have dried up. The cancer from the root will have dried up. And the tentacles of all those evil powers and spirits will have dried up. And Peter, calling to remembrance, verse 21, says unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou cursed is dried, is withered away. And Jesus answering says unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say, Unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. Whosoever, 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 that's a blank check for you. You are that to serve at tonight. I said you are that to serve at tonight. Whosoever shall say to this mountain, Say something to the mountain while we're praying. Don't just be saying words or looking here and there, or, you know, doing whatever. Say something tonight to any mountain, every mountain in your life. That thing will move away. That two servers shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. And shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. I will have whatsoever I say. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire. When ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And ye shall have them. And you will have them. Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Jesus says unto him, If thou canst believe all things are possible to him that believes. How many things are possible for you? 
How many things are possible for the believer here tonight? All things are possible. Matthew chapter 18, verse 18. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever ye shall loose on the earth shall be loosed in heaven. The authority is your mouth today. The power is in your mouth today. The word will be fulfilled in your life in Jesus' name. Matthew chapter 21. Reading from verse 21. Matthew 21, verse 21. Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, If ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea. What will happen? I say, what will happen? When you pray, what will happen? When you command, what will happen? It shall be done. And all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive. And all things, whatsoever I will ask in prayer, believing I will receive. And all things, and all things, say it, and all things, whatsoever I will ask in prayer, believing I will receive. Tonight, the word of authority is in your mouth, and faith comes from your heart. Say it tonight, you have it tonight. Let's rise up and talk to the Lord in prayer. Tell the Lord tonight, the expectation of faith and the realization of faith. If you need anything, Ask the Lord, something spiritual, something physical, something natural, something supernatural, something miraculous, something personal, something domestic, something professional, power, Strength, ability, skill that you want to be who the word has painted a believer can be. Tonight, you know that whatever you say, believing, you will receive. Say it and see it done. Say it and see it done. Be definite and specific in prayer. For every problem, there is an appropriate promise. Claim that promise. Salvation. Claim that promise. Restoration, claim that promise. The power to go and sin no more, claim that promise. Courage for duty, claim that promise. Bone strength, claim the promise. Victory, 
over temptation, over trials, claim the promise. He promised the Lord has given me you in his word. And it has not been fulfilled. Claim the promise. Standing on the promises. Don't sit in the premises of doubt. Make every day a day of conquering. A day of victory. A day of boldness. Every day, every day. Any day that finds you a coward is a lost day. That makes us saying, I don't know what I'm going to do. Look at my mountain. Look at my sickness. Look at my infirmity. Looks like the devil is having a upper hand. That's a lost day. Don't allow any day to come and go and leave you defeated. Say no. My heart is fixed. My heart is fixed. I must be a conqueror. I must be an overcomer. Sin? No. Will not have dominion over me. Self? No. It will not have dominion over me. Evil spirits? Never. It will not have dominion over me. Society, the community, never. They will not have dominion over me. Sinners, never. They will not have dominion over me. Remove your head from their load. Remove your shoulders from their yoke. Be strong. Be strong. If sinners are serving Satan, let the saints serve our Lord, our Savior. If sinners are bold for evil, let the saints be bold for righteousness. If sinners are bold for the world, let the saints be bold for the Lord. Stand for what you believe. You believe in holiness, then be holy. You believe in righteousness, then be righteous. You believe in healing, then be healthy. You believe in the Lord, then serve the Lord without looking back. Have faith in God. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed. I will not doubt in his heart, but will believe that those things which he has said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. In Jesus' name we pray. And the believers say, and the conquerors say, and the champions say, I am an overcomer. I am a conqueror. I am a champion for the Lord. 
every mountain you have spoken against tonight is moved away in Jesus' name. Power in your life. Authority in your mouth. Faith coming from your heart. Healing for your body. Health for your totality. Soundness in your entirety. Salvation for everyone. Sanctification for everyone. The power of the Holy Ghost for everyone. Victory. Victory. Victory in your life in Jesus' name. The Lord cancel rebellion from every life. Give me a good day. Amen. And the Lord cancel disobedience from every life. And every day and every moment will walk in righteousness and holiness in Jesus' name. Raise up that hand for your victory for your power, for your courage, for the enablement, for heaven's poss possibilities. Father, in Jesus' name, we we'll bless your name tonight. We we'll thank you for the promises that cannot fail. We we'll thank you for your faithfulness. We we'll thank you for your willingness. We we'll thank you for the blessing. We we'll thank you for the authority you have given us. We we'll thank you for the power you have given us. We thank you, Lord, for the victory, victory over sin, and victory over the shameful things of the world, and victory over the flesh, and victory over sickness, and victory over infirmity, and victory over every mountain. Lord, we claim the victory for everyone in Jesus' name. Make your people strong. Make your people healthy. Make your people victorious. I will pray, Lord, there will be victory in every life in Jesus' name. Sin shall not have dominion over any of us. Immorality shall not have dominion over any of us. The flesh shall not have dominion over any of us. The devil will not have dominion over any of us. In the secret and the public, we will have the victory. Over the flesh, we'll have the victory. Over bad habits, we'll have the victory. Over any backsliding, we'll have the victory. Over whatever pulls anybody down to the, pool, to the pit of hell, we will have the victory. I pray, Lord, for everyone here and everyone hearing, I pray victory for everyone in Jesus' name. Righteousness for everyone. Holiness for everyone. Purity for everyone. Sanctification for everyone. Health for everyone. Dominion for everyone. Power for everyone. Assurance for everyone. I pray that every mountain confronting your people, I speak to that mountain. Move out in Jesus' name. Any power confronting your people, I command that contrary power, come out in Jesus' name. And I pray, Lord, as we go back home, we go in the joy of the Lord. We go in the strength of the Lord. We go in the power of the Spirit. And all things from now on are possible for every one of us. We thank you because we know you have answered. Lord, we thank you because we know you have answered. You have given us everything we need. And we're going back with that victory. We're going back in that possession. We're going back in that power. As we go, no evil will confront or stand before any of us in Jesus' name. Every place you step upon, you'll possess. Every promise you claim, you will possess. The goodness of the Lord be with you ever in Jesus' name. You will not fall. Your enemies will fall. You will not falter. Your opposers, persecutors will falter. You will not be put to shame. 
For Satan and his followers will be put to shame. The Lord prolong your life. The Lord prolong your joy. The Lord confirm your victory. The Lord prolong all the goodness of his, of his love upon your life. As you go, go in his strength. Go in his power. Go with assurance. When you come back next time, come back with testimonies. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Those who are coming with us for the first time. GHS 100, Gospel and Song 109, GHS 109, to the work, to the work, to the work, we are servants of God, let us follow the path that our master has trod with the balm of his counsel and strength to renew our strength to renew. Let us do with our might what our hands finds to do. To the work, to the work, let the hungry be fed. To the fountain of life, let the weary be led. In the cross and its banner. Our glory shall be while we herald the tiding, salvation is free. To the work, to the work, there is labor for all, for the kingdom of darkness and error shall fall, and the name of Jehovah exalted shall be. In the loud swelling chorus, salvation is free. To the work, to the work, in the strength of the Lord, and a robe and a crown shall our labor reward. When the home of the faithful, our dwelling shall be, and we shout with the ransomed, salvation is free. Toiling on, toiling on, toiling on, toiling on. Let us hope, let us watch, and labor till the master comes.
But before we read, shall we just have a moment of prayer? Father, we are asking that you will open our eyes of understanding as we read your word today. We are asking that relevant passages that really speak to our present needs and problems, spiritually and physically and materially, you will impress upon our hearts. Be with us, enlighten us. Instruct us, teach us, as we read together now. In Jesus' name, I pray. We'll continue with the reading now. Genesis. Chapter 22. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham, and said unto him, Abraham. And he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest. And get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and saddled his ass, and took two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son, and clave the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up, and went unto the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes, and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship, and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering, and laid it upon Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they went both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father, and said, My father. And he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, my son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went, both of them, together. And they came to the place which God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there, and laid the wood in order, and bound Isaac his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand, and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven, and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram, and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh. As it is said to this day, In the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time, and said, By myself have I sworn, saith the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing, and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, 
and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. So Abraham returned unto his young men, and they rose up and went together to Beersheba. And Abraham dwelt at Beersheba. And it came to pass after these things that it was told Abraham, saying, Behold, Milcah, she hath also borne children unto thy brother Nahor, Huz his firstborn, and Buz his brother, and Kimuel the father of Aram, and Kesed, and Hazo, and Pildash, and Jidlaf, and Bethuel. And Bethuel begat Rebekah. These eight Milcah did bear to Nahor, Abraham's brother. And his concubine, whose name was Ruma, she bare also Teba, and Gaham, and Thahash, and Maacah. Chapter 23 And Sarah was an hundred and seven and twenty years old. These were the years of the life of Sarah. And Sarah died in Kirjath Arba, the same as Hebron in the land of Canaan. And Abraham came to mourn for Sarah and to weep for her. And Abraham stood up from before his dead and spake unto the sons of Heth, saying, I am a stranger and a sojourner with you. Give me a possession of a burying place with you that I may bury my dead out of my sight. And the children of Heth answered Abraham, saying unto him, Hear us, my lord, thou art a mighty prince among us. In the choice of our sepulchres bury thy dead. None of us shall withhold from thee his sepulchre, but that thou mayest bury thy dead. And Abraham stood up and bowed himself to the people of the land, even to the children of Heth. And he communed with them, saying, If it be your mind that I should bury my dead out of my sight, hear me, and entreat for me to Ephron the son of Zohar he may give me the cave of Machpelah, which he hath, which is in the end of his field. For as much money as it is worth, he shall give it me for a possession of a burying place amongst you. And Ephron dwelt among the children of Heth. And Ephron the Hittite answered Abraham in the audience of the children of Heth, even of all that went in at the gate of his city, saying, Nay, my lord, hear me. The field give I thee, and the cave that is therein I give it thee. In the presence of the sons of my people give I it thee. Bury thy dead. And Abraham bowed down himself before the people of the land. And he spake unto Ephron in the audience of the people of the land, saying, But if thou wilt give it, I pray thee hear me. I will give thee money for the field. Take it of me, and I will bury my dead there. And Ephron answered Abraham, saying unto him, My lord, hearken unto me. The land is worth four hundred shekels of silver. What is that betwixt me and thee? Bury therefore thy dead. And Abraham hearkened unto Ephron, and Abraham weighed to Ephron the silver, which he had named in the audience of the sons of Heth, four hundred shekels of silver, current money with the merchant. And the field of Ephron, which was in Machpelah, which was before memory, the field and the cave which was therein, and all the trees that were in the field, that were in all the borders round about, were made sure unto Abraham for a possession in the presence of the children of Heth, before all that went in at the gate of his city. And after this, Abraham buried Sarah his wife in the cave of the field of Machpelah before memory, the same as Hebron in the land of Canaan. And the field and the cave that is therein were made sure unto Abraham for a possession of a burying place by the sons of Heth. You have just listened to the Bible reading, and we need to take whatever we have learned to the Lord in prayer. Will you all rise up, please? Talk to the Lord in prayer. You've seen a commandment? A warning, an example, an instruction to obey, a promise to claim. Pray for grace that you will do as you are blunt in the word of God. In Jesus' name we pray.
the things I say, the world things I've said. Confessing the best is mine, as my routine. Schooling the man inside, the brand new me. Obsessed, fearing that we have what we confess. Green with envy, watching me succeed. Watching my God supply my every need. of this world the light has come and the world unveiled no way natural thinking can agree make me learn the ways of God's new breed Stand by as we now bring you as an angel of the Lord. We have been taught today on the recommitment to Paul's pattern of apostleship. Be as I am. Talk to the Lord today. Be as I am. How was he? He forsook all the mosaic laws. He became like a Gentile. He identified with them. He ate with them. He depended on Christ. He wanted them to depend on Christ. Depending on the Mosaic law will be limiting them. 
he centered his life on Christ. He sacrificed. He denied himself. He asked them to deny selves and serve the Lord. He was dead to the comments and the criticisms of the world. Pray to God and say, Lord, I want to be dead to the comments of the world. No matter what they say, I am looking ahead. I'm going to heaven. And today the Lord spoke to us on remembrance of Paul's preaching despite affliction. He preached under persecution, predicaments, challenges, and afflictions because the souls of men were important. It's the Lord's word having first place in your life. Pray to God, I want the word to be first. Response to Paul's persuasiveness as to an angel. They didn't just receive the word as coming from man. They received it as if an angel was talking to them. Despite his scars, the scars, the marks on his body, the trials that made him weak at times, he preached the gospel. They received his message, his ministry, his ministration, as it was preached by an angel. Do you receive the messages of our Father in the Lord in the same way? When you come to Bible study, do you concentrate? And their affliction reflected in accepting the gospel. He reflected on the blessedness, the readiness, the acceptance of the word in the past. The former affection through God's grace. They received the word of God by his grace. They were so appreciative of the word of God. Do you appreciate the word of God today? You are going to tell the Lord, oh God, take me back to where you first met me. How serious I was to the word of God. That word that brought them to the light, brought you to the light. They were willing to give even their own life for this word that they have heard. Paul did not want them to base their spiritual lives on the past, I was like this. I was like this. And the Lord remembered that Israel was holiness. Israel was committed to the Lord's will and word. He wanted them to maintain the life of Christ till he returns. But he discovered in them the failing attitude of graceful Galatians. They were waning. That means they were detached. How many people today are detached from the word of God? How many people are decreasing from the word of God? Sometimes they hear the word of God and they don't spend time to pray. They are rushing home. They are rushing here and there. They had love, but they decrease in love. They were withdrawn. That's why the apostle reminded them. Pray, oh God, I don't want to be waning. I don't want to be detached. Is the GS becoming your enemy? Because you are told the truth. Ahab said, have you found me my enemy? But Elijah was not disturbed. He wasn't perturbed. He continued in declaring the truth of the word of God. Are you detached from Jesus only? Jesus ever? Are you detached from the preaching of the truth? Will the preacher of the truth become your enemy? Pray, oh God, that grant me grace. And here... We find people that came because they were lied. They were being tossed to and fro. The people admonished them fervently, but not for their good. The Judaizers who were fervent to take them back to the Mosaic law. Today, we have prophets that are taking people back to falsehood. Oh God, I don't want to become a victim of their deception. Pray to the Lord that you will not be a victim. In Jesus' name, we pray. A louder amen. We discovered that these people had zeal without knowledge of the truth. They, they, they didn't have the knowledge of salvation. They didn't have knowledge of the true gospel because of the people that tossed them to and fro. And that is why the Lord wants us to be traveling ambassadors who are focused on awakening people to the grace of God. Christ is knocking 
at the door of your heart. Let him in so that he can become effective and become powerful in your life. Pray to the Lord that you will be powerful, effective in the truth, in knowledge, in power, in revelation, and in the vision of the Lord. Pray that you will travel until followers be fully persuaded. There will be no instability in their life. They will not be tossed to and fro. Pray that those you preach to, because you yourself, you are stable, will not be tossed to and fro. Pray that you are going to teach until our faith is be firmly perfected. Pray that the Lord is going to perfect your faith everywhere you go. Like Paul the Apostle, he wanted the Galatians to be standing, to be stable, to be firm, to perfect their faith. You pray that you will stand. In Jesus' name, we pray. Pray that you toil until the faithful be firmly preserved. That as you are preserved in the faith, those you preach to, those you encourage, those you admonish, that you should be more persuasive than these false people that wants to take people back to falsehood. Take people back to lightness in the spirit. That you will toil, you will pray, you will be faithful, you will follow up all the global crusade converts until they are firmly preserved. Pray that God will help you to stand firm. And pray that the light of God will shine in their lives. And they won't go back to Judaism. They won't go back to falsehood. They won't go back to weakness. Pray that you will not be living in the past. I was like this. I was like that. That is history. The Lord is waiting for your current life. In Jesus' name we pray. Almighty God, we are grateful unto you for the love you have for us. We thank you so much for the way you have spoken to us. Thank you for using the apostle of the time, our pastor, our mentor, to declare the whole counsel of God. I pray you will grant us the grace not to be waning, not to be detached from that truth. But we are going to stick to the truth and set our faces like flints to march right onto the promised land. I pray for our Father in the Lord that his strength will not be abated. His eyes will not be dim. That every time he comes up, new revelation, new exposition. In Jesus' name, we thank you because your blessings will remain in our lives. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Once a massive forest lying less than 10 kilometers north of the Atlantic Ocean, enslaved by same depravities that have plagued humankind globally, Strange diseases, defiling medical interventions, occultism in high dimensions, dishonesty, wickedness, and more to mention. But a single look, a look to the author and finisher signals the authority. It's a power shift. Power from on high upon your life. You've never seen anything like this before. The day when everything that is dead, dormant, door in your life will rise up. July 28th to August 2nd, 2022, 1600 hours GMT daily and 0700 hours GMT Sunday worship service packaged on a global scale for all. Men, women, ministers and professionals, children, youths and young adults. A total package by the Calvena, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi at the GCK July edition live at Ikorudu, Lagos State, Nigeria. Poised to reveal total emancipation by the authority of Christ. The inspirational and international evangelist, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, will be ministering along with Jeff Dio, our guest music minister. Coming to you live from Ikorodu, Lagos State, Southwest Nigeria. And broadcast to the world via satellite, social media, radio, and television. We are inviting the entire populace in and around Lagos. 
PFL Lagos is fully involved and our men and women and youth have been charged, have been given the marching order to ensure that this thing is a huge success. We are praying, we are believing, we are putting the network and our resources into it. I will trust at the end of it all, millions of souls will be gladly brought into the kingdom of God. GCK, in the seventh month, globally packaged to perfect total emancipation by the authority of Jesus Christ. Get ready for total freedom. This July, I'm going to grab you by the hand, drag you out of the body, and I'm going to drag you to the mountain top. The Global Crusade with Kumui GCK Authority is coming. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for our guardian this evening. We bless your holy name for your love, for your kindness upon our lives. Be there exalted, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we are here to listen to your words. Lord, come and speak to our hearts in Jesus' name. So we are going to the session of choruses. Take control, Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Sing, amen, amen, rejoice, amen, amen. Glory be to the Lord, amen, amen. Glory be to the Lord. Amen. Let us sing. Amen. I rejoice. Amen. Amen. Glory be to our God. Amen. Amen. Be to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Brethren, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Him. Praise His holy name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Brethren, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise His holy name. Praise the Lord. I believe the Bible. I believe the Bible. I believe the Bible is the word of God. I believe the Bible. Is the word of God. Hallelujah. I believe the Bible. Is the word. I shall not be. I shall not be moved. I shall not be. I shall not be moved just like a tree that planted by the waters. I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. I shall not be. I shall not be moved just like a tree that planted by the waters. I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that planted by the waters. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee, Lord. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee, Lord. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee, oh my Father. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee, nearer to thee, O oh Lord. 
Lord, draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Draw me nearer to thee. Lord, draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Hold my song every day. Lord, my songs every day. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee. I love him better every day. I love him better every day. Close to his side, I will abide. I love him better every day, better every day. Better every day. Hey, close to his side. I love him better every day, better every day. Better every day, Lord. I will go, I will go. I will go and tell them Jesus is alive. Will you go? I will go. Jesus is alive. Will you go? Will you go? Will you go? We you go, we you go. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walk in the light of God, oh, walk, walk, walk in the light, oh, walk, brethren, walk, let us walk in the light, oh, walk.